Zreri. Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So my time playing One Bit Beyond's charming roleplay adventure game has been both enjoyable and nostalgic. I couldn't help but get an 80s stroke 90s feel to this colourful adventure game. At moments the game reminded me of classic Zelda, Mario and even flashbacks of online Disney game Club Penguin, which my son used to play. You awake on a beach to be told by a magical dung beetle called Puku that you are the next sword of Ditto and you are the only person who can defeat the evil that has spread across the land. This happens once every 100 years. The game's main focus is taking down the evil witch Mormo, who is intent on unleashing her monstrous minions on the world. Depending on which difficulty level you play on determines how many days you get before you have to face Mormo in battle. Hero mode gives you 3 days, normal mode gives you 4 days, and relaxed mode gives you 7 days to prepare. Each in-game day is worth around 8 minutes of our real world time. You'll need to find legendary toys and power-ups to help destroy Mormo's horrors, along with stickers to increase some attributes. Stickers can be purchased at Lick's sticker shop in town, and they have a range of benefits such as increased health, armour, sword attack damage, or defensive abilities such as fire or poison resistance. You unlock new sticker slots once you level up. You can also do swapses with some NPCs in the town, which is pretty cool. While exploring the world, you can look for gold and other treasures to spend on toys and sticker packs, and also sweets and other junk food to help increase your health when it's low. The town will have snack vendors, or you can purchase confectionery at the Ditto Mart. You can get different weapons such as the toy ring that fires a laser at your foes and you can get things like a bow and even a drone to name a few. Along with your quest to find these toys, you'll also need to take out two of Mormo's anchors which give her power. You'll most often encounter a boss battle at the end of these dungeons and so far I've faced a giant snail and a flaming yeti. If you run out of time before destroying these anchors, she will most definitely be harder to defeat at the end of your encounter. Both quests will be located in dungeons filled with puzzles and nasty beasties along with some treasures, so adventure is always around the next corner. You only get one life in the Swords of Ditto, unless you can unlock the Whale Fountain, in which you can trade special jewels that you collect from defeated enemies. These are called Celestial Fragments. You can use them to rewind time or buy an extra life. If you die, a new Sword of Ditto will be chosen. You will awake 100 years later as a new character. The world will look decayed and more sombre than before and you'll have to start the adventure all over again. You will keep the current level you had achieved before you died but all items, stickers and toys will be lost. Along with fun combat, colourful art style, a good variety of bad guys, there's also a super relaxing soundtrack that is sometimes mellow in its tone. At times the game had a chiptune style song that took me back to the classic arcade days. This is definitely a game to switch your mind off to and relax. This isn't just a game to zone out to though, as you can also play cooperatively with a friend on the couch as it supports two players on the same screen. Another feature in the game that I liked was that in the options you could change the resolution from 1080p to 1440p, giving a more crisp image on the PlayStation 4 Pro. You can also make the HUD elements larger if you wish too. Little things like this can really make a difference to the game's overall polish. For an indie title, the sort of ditto shines Everything from its cute colourful design, witty narrative and fun game mechanics. 
these elements all come together for a winning combination. Cringy Dad Gaming has scored the Swords of Ditto a 9 out of 10 for awesome. You can't deny the game's charm and with it only being $15.99 on PS4, this is worth a buy for sure. So don't forget to check out the Swords of Ditto and if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you are subscribing, don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you know when I'm uploading new content. So for now, I'll say goodbye, but I will catch you guys on another video. Thanks for watching. Who's the daddy?